continued uh, like a daily contact basically with the doctor um, about pain relief and getting the right pain relief. I knew what I wanted, but I just wasn't getting it and um, ended up on this tablet that treated nerve pain, but um, also treated other issues as well, which wasn't what I wanted, but what can you do when you're in pain? You're going to try anything, aren't you? So I started that and finally got the MRI requested. So don't know how long that's going to take to actually come through, but at least it's going to be requested so I can be put, well, have my mind put at rest about those discs in my neck. I noticed during that week from the uh, trip to a &E where they said about the trapped nerve that I was struggling to pass urine and it was getting harder and harder as the week went on and then eventually I rang the doctors just to ask their advice and they sent an ambulance out which was a bit unexpected um, but can't, well, you have to go with it don't you um, and it, so I ended up back in A&E again um, they put a catheter in and then said they'd wait overnight the next day take it out again and see whether or not I'd be able to go without it um, during the night I had a CT scan of my head because they were worried about the fact I couldn't lift my left arm up and the CT scan came back clear so that was a will right um, Next day, they took the catheter out, and then, so off, off I went with my drinking, and then I just felt like my stomach was going to pop, and I looked at it, and it was like a balloon, and I couldn't go. Um, I had over a thousand millilitres of fluid in my bladder, so they put the catheter back in again, um, and then sent me home for two weeks telling me that I'd get an appointment they'd ring with an appointment within five days um to go back to the hospital uh, to the urology clinic and be monitored for six hours without it to see what happened during the time I've had the catheter in um I'm hoping that it was a tablet, the tablet that the doctor gave me for nerve pain. I'm hoping it was that that actually caused this because it said that it possibly could, especially when mixed with um, some of my regular tablets. And then that way, at least it will be resolved. Um, I don't want it to be part of FND because then I'm a little bit more worried about it actually going back to normal. Um, but just in case it is part of FND, I've been trying every time I still feel that I still feel that urge to go for a wee. So every time I feel that or empty the catheter, I get onto the commode, which is right next to my bed because I can't walk to the bathroom um, and empty it while on there to try and have that kind of muscle memory, I guess, um, so that I know that's what happens when I'm in that position, that's when you need to go. Um, I don't know if that's going to work, but it was suggested to me by other people as well who have had similar issues, so we'll see. <laughs> it might help me, who knows. So I was told before I was discharged from the hospital that um, within five days I'd get a phone call about having it out um, in two weeks' time to have a six-hour trial to see whether or not I'd be able to urinate again. It's been a week since I was in well um, admitted to hospital and I haven't had that phone call. And I spent about 
45 minutes today ringing about seven different people anyway eventually I got through and um, turns out I've got to do my own referral basically uh, go to the GP get them to do a referral to urology at at a different hospital to the one I was at which I wasn't aware of when I was discharged either and now I've been told that it could be two to four weeks before I have that um, trial, that six hour trial without it. So that's great. I'd like to say thank you to my close family for their continued emotional support and my sister for her knowledge on anything to do with hospitals that's helped me a lot when I've been in and out of them and of course mum I don't even know how to thank mum enough for everything she does all the hard things she has put on her when it comes to medicines looking after me everything she still manages it with a smile and never complains so thank you and thank you to my neighbours for this adorable card my cousin her partner and little girls for making me this lovely care package and my other half for these beautiful lilies that I got when I got home from hospital these little things really do make a difference at times like these um even my friend from the school came round um just to 20 minutes socially distanced of course um just to have a catch up and that kind of thing it makes a difference to know that people are thinking of you and that care it kind of spurs you on to to get better and keep that positive mindset.